and we are live. There we go. Hello, everyone. This hour on Verbling, the next in my speaking skills series. In today's speaking skills, we're going to learn all about how to talk about friends, families, and your neighbors. In this lesson, you will learn to talk about the people in your life. We're going to use a mind map. Uh, that's a kind of uh, schema of the different relations that you have. We're going to map them out first. Maybe we'll guess who they are, and then you're going to explain them to us using all the vocabulary that we learned today through the text and through our discussion. By the end of this class, you will be fluent in who's who in a family circle, whether it's your mother, brother, second cousin, or next door neighbor. All that and more coming up in just a minute. Let me first do a quick introduction, and then we will get started. And let me get my name on the board. And let's see. Looks like it's working. There we go. So, ooh, music. Tell you what, I'm going to turn off the piano for a second, Raphael, just because it's a little bit loud. Uh, and here we go. There's my name. There we go. I'm John Eric, your Verbling teacher for this hour. I'm an American teacher from New York. Coming at you today. Oh, dogs. Sorry, Rebecca. Got to turn off the dogs. Coming at you today from Lisbon, Portugal to bring you this class. By the way, if you click on that link in the Verbling chat window, you'll go to my profile page. I think you can't quite see my head. There we go. You'll go to my profile page where you can follow me and see all my upcoming group classes. You can also schedule a private tutoring class with me, and I will work with you on a personal learning plan or a personalized learning plan to help get you to your goals as soon as possible. So send me a message so I can find time for you in my schedule, and we will get started with that. In the meantime, uh, let's say hello to everyone, and I'll share the material as well. Looks like everyone's here. So here's the link in the chat window. Give me a second. There, friends, neighbors, and family. Look at them out there, all staring at you. Look at them. And here's the link if you want to open this up in your browser. So welcome to class, everyone. We've, I saw Mr. Semen first. Hello, Semen. Nice to have you back. Hello. Great to see you. And we've got V. We've got V with that strange cup of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you again. How nice are to you? see you. Very good, very yeah. good. And Mr. Ryota. Hello, Ryota. Long time no see. How are you? Hi, good. Thank you, Eric. How are you? How, how is the weather in Texas today? Yeah, it was very bad, rainy, so is, thunderstorm. Is it really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it my was goodness. Strong. Yeah. Texas, the land of twisters and tornadoes. <laughs> Stay right. safe, Ryota. Stay yeah, safe. Thank you so much, Eric. And we've got Rebecca and her dogs. How are you, Rebecca? How are the dogs? Uh-oh. I'm and fine, Rebecca. thank you. <laughs> but by the way, the dogs are downstairs. They're downstairs. But, yeah, uh, but uh, you know, I can't uh, silence them. But I close the door, so <laughs> this is the best I can do. What kind of dogs are they? Spaniel. Spaniel? Yeah. Cocker Spaniel? Ah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, one day I'll put a picture of them. Please do. Yeah. I'm not a dog person. But maybe I'll make an exception in your case. Spaniels are okay. <laughs> Actually, they're okay. like, yes, we. You can talk about them today in your friends, in your family, friends, and neighbors. You can add them to your to your mind map. What? You add them to okay. your family tree today. Then we'll get to know your dogs. That's my that's my suggestion. Add them to your okay. family tree. And Mr. Raphael, welcome to class. How are you? I'm pretty fine. Thanks for asking. Excellent. And who else is out there? Uh, Ms. Ms. Lena, Ms. Ms. Lena Klosova. There you go. Uh, hello, I, Eric. Nice to see you. There we go. 
And Jair, welcome to class. Jair, how are you? Hello, I'm, I'm quite well, thanks. What about Excellent. you? I'm good. And where are you in the world? Are you in Brazil or are you traveling? Uh, uh, I am traveling today. I am in Sao Paulo. Ah, okay. But you're in Brazil. Yeah. You're always in a different part of the world. It's hard to keep up with you, Shayer. You're everywhere. Uh, you're on the move. Uh, who else is out there? Oh, and Dina, of course. Hello, Dina. How are you? Hello, Dina. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very good, very good. Uh, Dina, remind me where you're from, because it's okay. been a while. From Egypt, Cairo. Okay, very good. And finally, Mr. Valls. Hello, Mr. Valls. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you, Mr. Valls? Jose, are you there? Uh-oh, I don't hear Jose. Maybe we're having some microphone problems. Okay, Jose, when you get your mic on, say hello. And look at all these friends, families, and neighbors staring at you. Look at all those people. Ooh. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you a few questions to get started. Give me just a second. And uh, I want you to look at... Uh, I want you to look at... Oh, there's Jose. Hello. Yes. Hello, John. Hello, John. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Awesome. We're going to be reading about... Uh, we're, it's not really a text. It's just a, a few blurbs of text. It's quite short. But we're going to be reading about someone else's friends, family, and neighbors first to try to get a handle on this vocabulary and review it. First, I want you to tell me some family words before we get into Wanda's world. Okay? Let's see how many types of relations you can mention. I'm going to go around the room. Give me one. Let's start with you, Dina. Some family-related words. For example, I already said, I already said mother earlier, and I said brother, and I said second cousin. Okay. Can you add anything to that list? Uh, me? Family yeah. words. Uh, step brother. We have step brother. Very good. Uh, step Sister. Well, uh, stepbrother mother and stepsister. Mother in law. Okay. Okay, hang on, let's go around the room though. So we've got step step siblings. We've got parents in law, because it could be mother or father in law. Okay, and Dina, can you add something to that list? Mother, brother, second cousin, stepbrother, parents in law? What would you say, Dina? Father. Say again. Father. 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 Yep, if you've got a mother, you probably yes, have a father. Sister. Exactly. Exactly. And Jair, sister. what... Sister. And Jair, what can you add to the list? Take a look mm. in the chat window. Brother-in-law. Okay. So we've got step-brother, but we've also got brother and sister-in-law. So I'm going to say... Yeah, let's go brother or sister in law. Notice how I have to write it with little dashes like that. Okay, very good. And let's see. Let's see if we can get into some more exotic relationships. We've got the basics down. Jose, add something to our list. Uh, aunt, uh, uncle. Okay, we can't forget about aunts and uncles. Niece, nephew, ah, niece and nephew. Yes, niece and nephew and daughter-in-law, mother-in-law. Okay, okay, that's too much. <laughs> yeah. Slow down. I can't write all these. Niece and nephew. Okay, good. Okay, Raphael, what have we not said so far in the list? I was thinking ancestors from the tree. Ancestors. <laughs> right. The people that are not necessarily alive anymore. Um, well, what about what about living people that we haven't mentioned so far? We've only covered Grandpa, really Rama. Yeah, we've only covered two generations. So grand grandpa or grandfather. Grandfather. 
And of course, you could then have grandmother. Okay, excellent. And let's see, Rayota, is there anything we've missed? Have we covered everything? Can I add something? Please do. Uh, husband and uh, wife. Oh, right. <laughs> husband, oops, and wife, excellent, okay. Uh, now, Ryoto, what have we missed? Anything? Uh... What about outside the family? What about people that are close, but not necessarily in the family? Neighborhood? Mm -hmm. So, neighbors. Neighbor. Na yeah. Neighbors in the neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something we could add. And friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, friends, there's lots of kinds of friends. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll go with friends for the moment. Let's see if V and Semen can think of some other kinds of friends. What can yeah. we say more specifically, V, about friends? Um, classmates. Hey, look at that. Classmates, like we have in here. Excellent. Uh, co colleague. Colleagues. 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 In American English, we often say, we don't usually use the word colleagues so much in American English. We can, it's okay. But we might say workmates. We might say, what do we say? Uh, co-workers. Instead of co instead of colleagues. Okay, Semen, can you think of any other non-family relations we could name? We've got colleagues at the workplace or co-workers. We've got kind of school covered with classmates. Can you think of anything else we've missed, Semen? No, oh, I don't know else. Or any other generations? Because we have three. Hey, we didn't talk about the fourth generation. Simon, what is the mother of your grandmother? Or the father of your grandfather? Or vice versa? Do you know what that's called? Simon? No, no I don't know. Anyone can Wait, help him out? Is that great grand grandmom? Great grandmother or grandmom, right? Your great grand parents, great grandparents, mm. and can can yeah, go for it. Uh, grandchildren, 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 right? And what about your great aunt, great uncle? You can have great aunts and great uncles as well. Okay. I think we've got it covered for the moment. So you've got a great list of vocabulary words already. Uh, what else do I want to say? Um, oh, okay. We'll, 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 define, we'll define these. Oh, let me just add one more. In-laws. Although we've already said this, mother-in-law, father-in-law, etc. In general, those are your in-laws. So that's a good vocabulary word, too. Um, let's see. <laughs> okay, I was going to have you take a look at some pictures and see if you can guess who these people are, but it might be a little bit difficult without reading the text. I don't know. Um, just take a look at these pictures first. A, B, C, D, and then you've got three people in the next picture, E, F, G, I, H, or I, J. On the next page, K, L, M, N, N. And O. Okay? So before we begin, I'm just curious if you can tell me who you think these people might be in relation to our lead character in this soap opera. You've got this girl here, Wanda. Look at her. There's Wanda. She looks an awful lot like the girl in Twin Peaks. If anyone grew up in the 80s, <laughs> if any of you have seen David Lynch movies or TV shows. She looks an awful lot like the girl in Twin Peaks. Maybe it's a coincidence. Um, I don't know. So this is Wanda Jones. Uh, let's find out about her. So, let's see. Rebecca, could, yes. you read, could you read about Wanda Jones for us? Yes. 
but uh, okay uh, well let me open the link because uh, here is just oh the title this title yeah the little text too oh, okay the little, the little text okay yeah. Wonder World and Wonder Jones and 24 single and I live with another girl in a small flat in Nothing Hill excellent what do we call that girl that she lives with? One, uh, mm, I was calling you. Say again. Roommate. Well, she doesn't live in the room with her. She lives in the flat with her. Well, but uh, that is the name for people who li who live uh, in the same place. Is my roommate or my flatmate? Flatmate. Flatmate. Okay. Yeah. I thought roommate was the same. You know. Okay. Well. If if her flat is the size of a room, then it would be a roommate. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> if she has yeah. several rooms, she'll be a flatmate. Flatmate. And if it's a house, she'll be a housemate. Okay. So we got flatmate and housemate. Okay. So that's Wanda Jones. She's got lots of people around her. Let's see if we can first guess who these people are. Uh, make an educated guess. If you like, you can skim through the text. We're going to read it in a second. If you like, you can skim through it. So, Dina, who do you think the person is in A? Just take a wild guess. Look at her, look at her age, and then we're going to go back later and see if we can confirm or find out the truth about the person. Dina, who do you think that person is in A? It's her little sister. It's her little sister. Mm, good guess. We'll find out in a moment. Okay. And, Samen, who do you think the person is in B? Who do you think that person is? And can you see who I'm talking about? Yes. What she? What does she look like to you? Maybe she's grandma. <laughs> Maybe it's the grandmother. Okay, could be. Why do you think it's her grandmother? What makes you think it's the grandmother, Simon? Why do you think that? Yeah. Because she old. She looks a little old. old woman. Maybe. Yes, and <laughs> <laughs> and she's doing that. I don't know why. She's she's doing that sign with her finger. She's making the shush, <laughs> the shush sign. Maybe, maybe uh, she a teacher. <laughs> or maybe a teacher. Yeah. In class. <laughs> When you put your finger up to your lip, you make the shush sign, the shh, right? Fine. Like a librarian. Shh. She's making the shush sign in the picture, and she's got horn-rimmed glasses, cement, like old-style horn-rimmed glasses, horns, because like a bull, they have a little point. You know, like like when you have a, a bull with those two horns on the side of its head. Her glasses have little horns as well. And so you would expect a person today to have those glasses, horn rim glasses. So V, who do you think is the person in picture C? Make a guess. Yeah, I, I guess he must a uh, father. It must be who? Um, it, 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 how about this one? It might be. Let's use, let's yeah. use guessing language. It might be, or it may be, her father. Yeah. Yeah, it, it might be her father. It might be her father. Okay. Is he doing something that makes him look like a father, or is it his age? Um. Oops. I couldn't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry, my mic. Uh, he's in the uh, middle age, and yeah. uh, he looks strict. He looks kind of strict because his arms are crossed. Yeah. By the way, let's build up our vocabulary. Describe the picture a little bit, and I'll help you out with the words. So here, his arms are crossed. Yeah. You can see that position. Okay, yeah. and Ryota. Who's that guy in picture D in relation to Wanda? Who do you think that guy is? Yeah, so I think he is co-worker with... Co-worker, hmm. 
Wanda. Hmm? And and he, he is or he might be. He might he might be. Exactly. Yeah. Because we're we're going to speculate. So he might be a co-worker. Co-worker. Good. And say something about the picture. He might be the co-worker because he's because. dressed how? Because he looks how? Mm -hmm. uh, he wearing a tie and a suit. Exactly. Yeah. He's dressed as a professional. He's wearing a tie and a suit. Do you like his tie, Ryota? Uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah, I wearing a tie. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you like his tie? Do you like the tie that uh, he is wearing? <laughs> no, I no. don't like yeah, this design. His tie sucks. <laughs> 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 it's a very, very, very ugly tie. Maybe he's being ironic. Maybe he's a hipster. I don't know. Okay, Mr. Raphael, you're going to get three for the price of one. Look at E, F, and G and tell me, who do you think those people are in relation to Wanda? Any guesses? Uh-oh, Raphael, are you there? Uh-oh, Raphael's out getting a beer. Lena, who do you think those people are, E, F, and G? I think... Uh... Uh, the little uh, baby, maybe uh, it is snap your niece or young mm -hmm. sister. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, G, I think uh, she is. Uh, she might be her older sister uh, or sister-in-law or her. Uh, mm, her mother, that she, her mother, that really? She, she looks like so younger because she <laughs> she likes training, maybe. Okay, <laughs> I think she's a little young to be her mother, but maybe, maybe. All right, and let's see, and Jair, what about I and F? Mm, I think uh, it might be her. Parents could be her parents, yeah. Although we did say that C could be her father, so she can't have two fathers. <laughs> yes. Maybe yeah. she does. Maybe she has three parents. Oh, Wanda could be a very strange girl. If it's not her parents, who else could it be? Uh, maybe it might be friends. Hmm. Well, they seem kind of old. She's only 24. How yes, old is our, an our uncle, maybe? Ah, okay. It could uncle. be her. It could be her aunt and uncle. We, we don't have a, a name for both of those people. Like you can say father, mother, or parents. Brother and sister are siblings. We don't have one word for aunt and uncle. Okay, but keep keep in mind the word siblings. Good word too for brother, brother and sister, brother and sister. Oops. Okay, very good. And let's see one more. Then we're going to read and find out who they really are. Dina, I want you to pick anybody on this page. Doesn't matter who. Just describe them briefly and say who, what the relationship is to Wanda in your in your opinion, in your guess. So any picture you like. Uh, picture K. Mm -hmm. K. Okay. Good. So uh, who did? He's a little. He's a brother who's uh, playing on a saxophone. Mm -hmm. uh, not a not a saxophone. A trumpet. Trumpet. Yeah, it's a trumpet. Yes, he's playing. Uh, he's playing on a trumpet, uh, and uh, it seems that he plays very well because uh, maybe he sits in a music class. Uh, and he's wearing a formal dress, maybe he's playing in an orchestra or something, or band or something like that. Okay, very good. Uh, he's wearing not a formal dress, but he's wearing formal, he's, he's dressed formally, I'd say. He's dressed maybe in a uniform, 
maybe he's in a uniform for a band, like a school band. Yes. Because if you say he's wearing a dress, that's that's like women's clothing, a dress. But if you say he's dressed formally, that could be any kind of clothing. So he's dressed formally or dressed in maybe uniform for a band. Okay. So let's find out who these people really are. And then we're going to turn it over to you to find out who the people in your life are as well. So let's see. Let's get some readers here. Jose, can you start with family for us? Yes, of course. Family. I've got four parents. My mom and dad are divorced, and both of them have remarried. My mom, Tina, lives with a stepfather, Costas, in Wimbledon. My dad, Harry, lives in Marbella with his new wife, Roxette. She's the same age as me, and we get on really well. I've got a younger sister called Sandra. She's married to a guy called Ray. They have a young baby called Grace. That means I'm, a, I'm an aunt. Mm -hmm. I'm an... By the way, two pronunciations for aunt. Okay. American English is aunt. Aunt. British English is aunt. 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 <laughs> so we've got aunt and aunt, depending on where you live. Okay. Okay, very good. And let's see. Mm -hmm. Does hey Jose? Does yes, her? Does, 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 her, does wait wait her. wait 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 <laughs> wait. Let me ask the question. Okay. Does she have a good relationship or a bad relationship with her stepmother? Mm. Mm. Think back to that little um, article, that little paragraph. Yeah, yeah. Does she have a good relationship or a bad relationship with her stepmother? I think that uh, he has, uh, she, she has. He has. She has a good relationship, uh, in, in my opinion. Uh -huh. And your opinion is based on which word in the text? Because one, there's one uh, verb that yeah. tells you uh, that she. One K babe that, that tells me that, that the relationship is good or what? Yes. Mm -hmm. See what it is? Ah, yes, yes, yes. We get on really well. Exactly. Her yeah. stepmother is Roxette. Roxette yeah. is the same age as she her as she has she is. So that means that her stepmother and her are the same age, but they they have a good relationship. They get on well. Okay, very yeah. good, very good. All right. Hey, Rebecca, what about Fran? Oh, you read already. I'm sorry. I need to give out someone else a chance. I'm sorry. Raphael, are you back? You were out. Are you back? Hello, Raphael. Going once, going twice. It's sold to Lena. Lena, friends. Okay. Uh, well, there is my flatmate, Fatima. She's from... Uh, she's from Lebanon. I haven't got a boyfriend. My ex-boyfriend, Warren, still phones me every week, but I am not interested. It's a bit complicated because Warren is my brother-in-law's brother. <laughs> think about think about that for a second. <laughs> Warren is my brother-in-law's brother. I, I can't figure out what that means, but anyway. <laughs> uh, um, uh, what does it mean? Maybe um, her boyfriend <laughs> is a, um, he he was married on her sister. <laughs> I don't know. I I can't figure that sentence out because my brother-in-law's brother would also be my brother-in-law. So I don't quite follow that. But okay, I don't know. We'll we'll we'll, we'll think about that. Keep going. Or maybe he's uh, a son of her father-in-law. I think. But if he's the son of the father-in-law, that makes him her brother-in-law. So that means she's got two brothers-in-law, right? Mm -hmm. So right. why doesn't she just say that? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But Wanda's, Wanda's a little confused. <laughs> yes. Uh, my best friend is Stan. He's um, 40, 40? Oh, 54. 54 years old 
barber and his shop is just below my flat. He is a widow. Uh, widower. A widower. A widower. And he's got a teenage son, Danny. Danny's learning to play the trumpet. What is a widower, Lenin? Uh, his wife uh, was dead. His wife, his wife, we should say it like this, Lenin. His wife passed away. Uh, okay. His yes, wife his passed wife away. Passed away, passed away. So he is alone. He is alone, yeah. He's he is a widower. Right. So if you're a woman, you are a widow. If you're a man, you are a widower. Just like if you're a woman, you're an aunt, and if you're a man, you're an uncle. So you've got masculine and feminine versions of this. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Widow is always female, not a woman. Window. That's not what I want to say. Hey, so we got friends, family. Let's find out about acquaintances. Hey, so Simon, can you do acquaintances for us? Can you read that for us, Simon? What? Ah, uh, yes. Can you read acquaintances? Yes, I can. Let's see, there's our neighbor, Miss Mirren. I know her because she calls every day to complain about something. Her cats fly on our balcony. Fight. Cats fight on they our fight. balcony. Fight. Fight. Okay, does that sound like a good neighbor to you or a not so good neighbor? I think it's not was a good neighbor because he cuts flat on our balcony. Exactly. Mrs. Mirren is the crazy cat lady. You know how every every little town has the crazy cat lady? She's the local crazy cat lady. So be careful. You know, Simen, I used to have a crazy cat lady when I lived in another part of the city where I am. Do you know what she told me, Simen? She told me a story. No. Would you like to hear mm -hmm. the story? This is a true story. The crazy cat lady, when I lived, I live in Lisbon, Portugal. I used to live in another neighborhood a long time ago, and there was a crazy cat lady, and there were lots and lots and lots of cats next to her house. And she told me that people would come to this city to eat the cats. That's what she told me. <laughs> she said people would come from other countries to eat our cats because our cats were more delicious than their cats. That's what she told me. True story about my own personal cat lady. True story, everyone. So that's why she was against immigration. She was against immigration for that reason. They'd come to eat our cats. Now you know. Uh, let's see, who's next? V, can you take the last one? Work. Yes. I'm a secretary in an insurance company. My boss is called Tom, and I think he's secret a lot with me. My colleague is called Tracy, and she is secret in love with Tom. What a mess. What a mess. Okay. So now you have a little introduction to Wanda's world, and... What we're going to do is, give me a second here, uh, yeah, okay, little, little exercise down there. We're going to see if we can now name the people and see if we can figure out if we were right or wrong. We had a few guesses. I also want you to look at a mind map afterwards, and we're going to see if we can talk about the relationship of those people to her. So let's go back to the pictures for a second. And now that you've read the article, who is picture A? We said it was her little sister before. Is it her little sister? No. No. Who is it? Maybe she the mother-in-law. Flatmate. That, flatmate, see, I think. It's her flatmate? Yeah, she does have a flatmate, doesn't she? Um, give me a second here. 
eh, 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 eh. hold on a second because I'm going to see if I have the answers all mapped out. Do I? Yes, I do. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I got it. So, A is probably her flatmate. What's what's her flatmate's name? Remember from the text? Fatima. Fatima. From Lebanon, Fatima. right? Fatima. Okay, excellent. Okay, and what about B? If you know the answer, shout it out. And who is B? It's not her grandmother. It's... Crazy cat lady. Crazy cat lady. B, it's Mrs. Mirren, the crazy cat lady, <laughs> giving us the shush symbol. That's right. Okay, excellent. So far, so good. What about C? The barber, I think. The? The barber, Stan. Stan. It's her best friend, Stan. Stan yeah, the man. Stan the man who's the barber downstairs. Exactly. Okay. What about D, class? I think uh, he is her boss, Tom. It's her boss, Tom. He looks like a boss, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. With a really bad yeah. tie and a big mug of weak American coffee. We like to drink coffee out of very big mugs. Okay, excellent. Now we're on to E, F, and G. Any ideas? She's, uh, she's her uh, uh, sister, uh, little niece, uh, little baby. She's little niece, Grace. Mm -hmm. Grace, and, exactly. Yes, and the man maybe he is a boyfriend, last boyfriend, no. brother-in-law. <laughs> okay, Ray. it's Ray. E is Ray. F is Grace, and G. What's the name of G? Sandra. Sandra, right. And Sandra is her younger sister. Okay, excellent. And what about I and J? They are her parents, I think. I and J. And remember the name? If it's her parents, do you remember the name? Uh, maybe uh, she is her mother and he is her father in law. Hmm. And V? Yeah, I think Tina and Harry. Tina and Harry. Harry and Tina, yes. Tina and Harry. Well, hang on a second. I is Tina, but J is not Harry. Uh, Costas. He is the Costas. Costas. Stepfather. Costas. Stepfather. It's the stepfather. Costas in Wimbledon, right? Stepfather. Costas. So I don't think we've seen the father yet. Have we? Mm -hmm. Now we're on to K. Uh, he stands brother. I know. Uh, son stands son. What's his name? Danny. Ray? Danny. It's Danny, the trumpet player. Excellent. On to L and M. Ah, maybe he's her father, and she's uh, her stepmother. Yeah, the stepmother is really young. What's her name? Roxette. Roxette. She had a band in the 80s. Roxette. <laughs> I, know, I, I know that. Uh, <laughs> but I don't remember the, the song. The song was... Um, give me a second. <laughs> what was the song? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember right now. Roxette. It's pretty bad, whatever it was. It was pretty bad. She's Swedish. She was a Swedish singer, had like one hit song in the 80s. That's sorry. And we're on to N. Oh, I know. Who's N? Who's N? Tracy. It's Tracy. 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 It's her colleague. And what about O? Tom? No. We saw Tom no. earlier. No. The ex-boyfriend. Uh, yes. Uh, What's his name? Warren. 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 Exactly. Warren. Excellent. Excellent. And V, can you sing the song for us? <laughs> no, I I don't remember. But if I but if I do, I can. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we've got all the answers right. 
It was Mrs. Mirren, Stan, Tom, Ray, Grace, Sandra, Wanda was H, by the way. I forgot. Over here, Wanda was the first picture here, H. That's Wanda. Different pictures of her in the background. Okay, and then in the last slide, we had Danny, uh, Harry, Roxette, Tracy, and Warren. These are all the people we just read about. Whoops, give me a second. Oh, let me get back to my slide. There we go. Now, look at the mind map of Wanda's world. How are the people related to Wanda? So I'm going to call out a name, and you tell me the relation. So, for example, if I call out Roxette, you have to say, oh, that's Wanda's stepmother. If I call out Harry, you have to say, oh, that's Wanda's father. You could also say it's Wanda's father, and it's Roxette's husband. You see what I'm saying? So you can go always with Wanda, but you can also talk about them in relation to each other. So, let's see. Ryota, what about Sandra? Let's see how good your memory is. Sandra. Sandra is uh, sister-in-law. Sister-in-law of whom? Of of, of Wanda. Uh, from uh, for Wanda. She of Wanda. Yeah. She. So Sandra is step. Uh, sorry. Well, hang on a second. Look, me in the middle is Wanda, and that's connected to families. So that's her family, and there's a second branch. Sandra and me are connected to family, so it's not a sister-in-law. It's her sister. Sandra is Wanda's sister. I see. Uh, right? Sandra. Mm -hmm. right? Sandra is Wanda's sister. Okay? Mm -hmm. And who is Sandra to Harry? Harry's what? Harry... Harry, Harry the... Uh, Father. Who is Sandra to Harry? It is Harry's. 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 Harry's daughter. Exactly. <laughs> Sand, so Sandra is Wanda's sister and Harry's daughter. Right. Obviously. Okay. Excellent. And let's see. Let's see. Rebecca. What about? Um, what about Costas? Tell me Costas' relationship to Wanda. Costas, say again, please. Who is Costa to Wanda? Who is Costas? Yeah, yeah. Costa, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Look at the picture. Look at the mind map. There's no secret. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. To make it easier, look who Costas. Yeah, must cost, okay. Um, they are um, uncle, uh, uh, uncle, no, uncle, no, no, niece, nice, no, My, no. no, I don't know. Well, Harry is Wanda's father, right? Yeah. So who is Tina then? Tina is uh, the daughter. The daughter? No. No, I'm I don't think so. I'm 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 I don't think so. Class, who is Tina? Wanda's Tina mother. is uh, Wanda's mama, mother. Exactly. What? Tina Tina is Wanda's yeah. mother. Okay. So who is Costas then, Rebecca? Costas is it, but Costas is a, a man or a, a woman? <laughs> it's a man. We saw the picture. Well, we that confused. I thought it was a woman. Oh, no, no. It's a man. Uh, here's Costas. Let's take a look at his picture. Yeah, I'm confused because I'm... Costas is... Look, look, yeah. look. Costas is letter J. Look. Costas yeah. is letter J. By the way, it's supposed to be confusing. That's the game. He's the the, game the, is... gran, the grandpa. No. You're just okay. guessing. You're okay. guessing. Look at look at the diagram class. Costas is married to Tina, 
So you you don't marry your you don't marry your father, <laughs> Rebecca. Oh, <okay. laughs> so Sorry. he's not her grandfather. It's the husband of her mother. Who yeah. is the husband of your mother? If he's not your father, who is he? Is my father-in-law? Mm, your father-in-law? No. No, there is a father-in-law. The father-in-law. It doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> there is no father-in-law because Wanda is not married. So there mm -hmm. is no father-in-law. Jose, who is Costas, do you think? He's not her father, so who is he? Yeah. What would you say, Jose? Jose is not answering. Yes. Oh, there he is. Costas, yes. Costas is the stepfather. He's the stepfather, Rebecca. Okay. Do you see? Yes. Because he's married to Tina, and we established that Tina is the mother. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, very good. Wow, good. No, very bad, but... Okay. Yeah, but look, the mind map uh, has... Just look at the relations in the mind map. So you don't oh, even no. have to remember the text. Just look carefully at the relations. Me is Wanda, okay? Okay. Thanks. So... Thank you. So let's see. Mr. Riota, who is Tracy to Wanda? Who is Tracy to Wanda? Riota, what would you say? Who is Tracy to Wanda? What's their relationship? Yes, uh, Tracy is co-worker. She is Wanda's co-worker, exactly. And do you remember the problem with Tom and Tracy and Wanda? <laughs> There was a little complication there, right? There was a little complication. Does anyone remember? Uh, yes. Do you remember, Ryota? What was the complication? Yes. Uh, yes. So, Tracy. Relationship. Say again? Reunited uh, relationship. I couldn't hear the first word. A what relationship? Three. Three sided. Recited? Yeah, can we say that? I don't think so. I don't know what it means. Three-sided. Oh, three-sided. Yeah. Not a three-sided, but it's kind of like a love triangle, we might say. Kind of a love triangle. Like this. Take a look at the chat window. The word is love triangle. Except that Wanda, I don't think Wanda is in love with Tom, but Tom is obsessed with who? Tom is obsessed with Wanda, but Tracy is obsessed with Tom, right? Something like that? <laughs> I can't even remember. <laughs> okay, very good. So, let's see. Raphael, you're back, right? Are you there? Yeah, sorry. Excellent. So, we read the text, we, we matched the pictures, but mm -hmm. looking at the diagram, can you tell me, in the center we have Wanda, that's me, yeah. Wanda. So, I like. I want you to pick. Let's say, for example, uh, hmm, hmm. let's see if we can give you a good one. Hmm. Well, first, who is Stan? To, I don't know if you. Oh, you weren't here. Maybe you won't get this. Never mind. Who is Grace to Wanda, according to the diagram and from what you heard in the text? Who is Grace to Wanda? What's the relationship? Notice that Tra Grace is attached to Sandra, Sandra is attached to family, and me, Wanda, is attached to family too. So what's the relationship, Grace and Wanda? Um, I think it's a relative. From it is a relative. I don't Is perhaps... Grace is the, da the sister, Sandra's sisters? Not the, not the sister. No. In the text, we found out that yeah. Wanda and Sandra are sisters, but Grace, in fact, look at the picture here. Grace is person F. Look at Grace. When you were out, we identified person F as Grace. Can you see her? So yeah. if she's Grace, then look at the diagram again and uh, tell me what's her relationship. Sandra's daughter. 
She is Sandra's daughter, and relationship to Wanda is she is Wanda's nephew, niece. 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 That's it. She's she's Wanda's niece. Okay. Now that you got the hang of this complicated picture, I'd like you to create a picture of your own about your own relationships, and you can do this pretty easily. I'll tell you what I would do to do this. We don't have a lot of time, okay, but to really quickly. If you have a Windows computer, click on your Windows icon. I'll show you what I mean. And you're going to open Paint because I think that's the easiest way to do it. So, for example, if I, if I close everything here, hold on. If I open Windows, you can see the Windows tiles, and I click on Paint, and then it opens up. I can really quickly make a diagram like this. I can put this, this, this. I can click on the A, and I can put me. There's me. I can put Levy. Right? I can put, I can put C, his wife, whose name will not be mentioned. <laughs> and I can put, um, and I can put uh, in-laws, whose name will not be mentioned either. Because you never know who's watching. You never know. Okay. And my current family tree, my acquaintances look like this, something like this. I wonder if you could do something similar, actually. So let's see. Uh, hopefully you're, you can see that on the screen. If you can't see it, let me try to share it differently. So all I did was I opened up Paint in Microsoft because it's really fast. And using the A button at the top and the lines, I made my own really quick mind map. So. So C is my wife. Levy, who do you think Levy is? Want to take a guess? Anyone want to take a guess who Levy is? No one? No guesses? <laughs> I'll see. I'll, I'll, is that your son? I don't have a son. <laughs> I'll see if I can give you a picture before the end of class. Maybe I have a picture of him somewhere. It's not my son. You'll see. Uh, and then we've got the in-laws over there. So I want you to do something. I'm going to look for a picture of Levy. You may be surprised. Uh, I want, I'd want. i like you to try to do the same if you can. Open up Paint or something similar, and then you can click on the Share Screen icon on the left side, and you can show it to us. Do a really quick, quick, quick uh, diagram. If you can't share your screen, no problem. Just talk briefly about your family. We have time to maybe do two of these before the end of class. But you're welcome to send me the picture and to write a description if you want to get some more practice. Okay, so does anyone want to do a quick overview of their family or share a mind map? Any volunteers? No one? Okay, bye-bye. Really? Nobody? <laughs> if you don't want to draw the map, then just talk talk about the relations. Okay, so Give us a, I, I'm now a volunteer. What must I do? What What must you do? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm talking about my family, my rela relatives. Exactly. So, talk us through your talk us through your map, the family map, like the one that we saw a moment ago. Okay, so, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, show me the way to start, please. For instance, for, with my parents. Mm -hmm. So, for example. Me, uh, I have two pa uh, my, a mother, and my, my mom and my dad. Mm -hmm. They have one uh, daughter more, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, exactly. So, you're going to be using the vocabulary that we've used. So, they have a daughter. And that yes. daughter is your my sister, my little sister. sister. She's getting ah. married with my brother-in-law, and both have my niece. Ah, okay, very good. So you have a mother, father, you have uh, a sister, and you have one niece. Yes. Okay, excellent.
And that is share. my close family. Excellent. My immediate family. My immediate family. My immediate family. Yeah. And if you want to share the screen, you can use the green box on the left, which is the second box. Oh, that's a good idea. And Ryota is actually drawing the picture. I forgot there was a drawing app. I actually forgot about that. Sorry. Um, we have time for one more. Does anyone want to share the screen like I did? I use Microsoft Paint, but you could also use the drawing app. I completely forgot about that. Thanks, Ryota, for showing me that. I saw you added it. Does anyone want to share a quick diagram before we run out of time? Anyone? 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 No one? How does the... How does the difficult. It's difficult. Oh, it's just practice. Yes. To draw, to draw this. Uh. Oh, but just use words and lines, you know? Just keep it really simple. Uh, I want to see if I can find a picture of Levy for you. I'm looking through my photos to see if I have one. I know I have one somewhere. But it's probably going to be pretty hard to find. Oh, no. No, it's too slow. I can't show you the picture. Levy is my cat. <laughs> hey, look, there's Raphael. I can Excellent. 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 Very good. Fantastic. So, great. So, Juan, Juan is your brother. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And, oh, excellent. Very good. Oh, we lost it. Uh oh. Go back. Oh, go my back gosh. To, go back to the, to the white screen. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happens. Just right? click on the white. It's, it mm -hmm. happens sometimes. Don't worry. Just click screen share and select uh, the white uh, paint when it pops up again. Yeah. It works. It works. So try it again. Mm. There you go. So, everyone, let's take a quick guess about about Raphael's family. I guessed that Juan was his brother. Lena, who do you think Soko is? <laughs> uh, show me, please. Oh. Can you see? Uh, y yes, uh, I see your face. <laughs> click on, Just click more. on Rafa. Ah. Click, click on the tile Rafa, and it'll, and you'll be able to see okay, it big. Yes, I see. Uh, he's in the circle. He's, in, he's right in the center, yeah. In the center, yeah. yes. Um, I think uh, Soka is maybe he he's uh, his brother. Is Soko your brother? No, it's a female name. Oh, it's a female name, Lena. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> maybe, uh, Second guess. <laughs> she is her, uh, she's his wife, I think. Is that yes. your wife? Yes. Ah, yes. fantastic. So, Ryota, what do you think? You've got Juan and Soko identified. What about uh? What about? It looks like Eklena. Who do you think Eklena is in that in that diagram, Ryota? Uh, yeah. So, Eklena is his sister. Rafa's sister. Oh, it's connected. It's connected to. It's hard to see the name. Who is that? Yeah. She, she's connected to Juan, or she's connected to. Menchu. 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 <laughs> ah, she's connected to dementia. So it can't be. A, I don't think it's his sister because Soko, Soko was the wife, and she's in Elenka's. It seems like she's connected to. Is is Menchu connected to Juan, Raphael? Yeah, they are my they are my brothers, and Elena is the daughter of Menchu. Menchu's daughter. Menchu's daughter. So oh, right. that means that Menchu, that Elenka is oh, your. Right. Don't worry, Elenka is your niece. My niece. Ah, That's right. okay, fantastic, excellent, excellent, very good. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. We're gonna have to stop here, but we're not done yet. What we can do is this. You. Try a little diagram on your own, okay? And you can show it on Thursday's class, Thursday at 11 GMT, if you want to come back. Or you can send it to me with a little description, and that will allow you a chance to practice the vocabulary. So you've got two choices. You can write it, send it to me, I'll correct it, and send it back. Or 
you have a second chance because in our Grammar Garage class we're going to pick out a grammar skill related to this class. Uh, you'll see what it is. But I'll give you a second chance to do your presentation at 11 GMT on Thursday. Okay? So come back for that class if you want to do a little presentation. We'll start the class with that. In the meantime, if you want to write it, send it in the chat window, in the message window, not the chat window, the main message window to me, I'll correct it and send it back to you. Okay, very good. So listen, good start, everyone. I'll be back in just a moment to start the Fluency Fundamentals class. This is a class where we cover the basic vocabulary for exciting topics. And today's topic is all about holidays because it's time for holidays. What better time to talk about holidays than now because it's holidays. Come back in just a minute for that. Bye for now, everyone. See you bye soon. Bye, bye for now. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.